I know it's been a while since I've posted anything on the channel, but I've been busy. And for those of you who know that I am in recovery from a freak accident that happened to me um, almost a year ago this month, actually. But anyways, the reason for my video is Grammys. Yes, yes, yes. Needless to say, I'm very, very disappointed in the outcome. I'm very disappointed in the Jamaican people. I'm just overall very disappointed. Now, don't watch me here. My ear just a uh, book out till next week. So, oh no, no come for me in another video with me here. I'm in yours. Oh no, don't try it. Do not come for me. Anyways, in regards to the Grammys now. Let me know in the comment section exactly what you guys think about it because I'm really still in disbelief about this whole Grammy thing. I'm still waiting for somebody to say April Fool's, but then I remember April Fool's was a couple days ago. So, you know, I'm just still waiting. I'm hoping somebody's just late with their April Fool's stroke and this is a part of it because Soja, who them? Who them? To me, on a personal level, I think it's uh, this whole winning of this band, so-called reggae band, so-called reggae band, Soja, that nobody knew about, even though they've been around for a while. I, I actually looked them up and they've had videos going back 12 years ago. But I mean, I took the time to listen to some of what their music I like me I tell. Me listen, me start listening to one of them song, and maybe like a couple seconds in, I had was to stop it. Nowhere to fly. Because a foolishness. Pure foolishness. And there's nothing that has to do with reggae. Nothing at all that has to do with reggae is in this song. Or in on this album or in their music. Unless it's just me. Maybe me don't know what reggae is. Maybe the Jamaican people or the Caribbean people don't know what reggae is, but that's not reggae. That's nothing to do with reggae. I thought the category that Spice was nominated for was best reggae album. But to me, it seemed like a best reggae beat them I go for because if you go and listen to Soja, Soja album, them have one and two beats in it with kind of sound like reggae, but we know it's not reggae. But anyways, that's besides the point. Yeah, I understand that, that they did, they sold more copies of their music more than Spice. And I feel it felt that because my personal take on it is the fact that she came up with her album. And before we run Goodbye the Girl album, the Jamaican people are on the internet tearing her down. Them would rather bootleg the album where they don't have to stream it and pay for it than to go buy it. And that's where we went wrong. I mean, say enough people have our album I listen to, enough people have played it and I didn't care and all of that. You know what I mean? But I guarantee you that 99% of the people that have this album playing, they didn't buy it. They didn't stream it. Them teeth it. You know what I mean? They bootleg it. Hence is the reason why her sales didn't do as well as this so-called reggae band. First of all, what do they... To me, this is a blatant disrespect to reggae. It's a big disrespect to Jamaica, our reggae culture, and the people who paved the way for reggae like Bob Marley and those guys. Me know say Bob Marley a turn name grave right now. No, me really know say man. Me know say man get up and slap this. Like, how could this happen? How? How did we allow this thing to happen? 
in my eyes, she really win anyways now because for her to come from a poor upbringing to get to where she's at now, where she's walking on the red carpet, girl, my hat's off to you. You made it. You made it. Right? You made it. Whether or not you win a Grammy or a piece of metal for say yes, this, that. No, in my eyes, and I'm sure in millions of people's eyes, you already made it. You're, I uh, know, nothing in my nose. As some of nose, them clean and look. So, on the come for me, come tell me, say nothing in my nose. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah. Instead of we, instead of us as a nation who are passionate about reggae music, who, who reggae mu music plays a big part in our life, instead of us supporting her the legal way by buying and streaming her music, we're out there teething it. And this is why this so-called reggae ban, you know, say piss me off every time I have to say that because there's nothing reggae about them. They don't have no roots to Jamaica whatsoever. None. But yet still they won. I'm still in shock. I'm still in disbelief. Like, I can't believe it. Why? So you're telling me why? Because one of them have a look, look of dreadlocks and one of them are whatever. They, they automatically qualify as being a part of the reggae culture? Are you fucking kidding me? Seriously? We need to do better. We need to do better. As I said, I'm still waiting for somebody to come up and say, April Fools. Because this has to be some joke. This has to be some joke. I swear to God. And you know the funniest thing is, even I'm guilty for it too. Because as soon as I heard about ban, I'm like, me run go Google them because me want to know who them because I've never heard of them before. Even when the list of the nominees went out, never heard of them. Didn't know. You know what me I want now? Me still can't get over all oh, them win over Sean Paul. So you tell me say, if Shaggy did, did, did get nominated to them without win over Shaggy, I saw we know I said that fear. Like, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that this doesn't make sense to. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Me still can't believe. No. Me can't. Yo. Good girl. Come out still now. Talk truth. She come right out. Girl look good. Dress nice. That read something. They have to be heavy. I wonder if I nigga at her right now or on them. They have to be heavy. But she look good. Uh, listen. Rasta step up, you know. Him just a walk back on him, girl. Yo, I'm so happy for her. Mama Spice, my happy feel. You. you never pick a better partner. I like the fact that he supports you in whatever it is you're doing. Yeah, he might not like the whole slackness of the dance or music that you sing, but this is you. So... He meet you like that and him accept you. He might not do like it, but him still a roll with it, which is good. But yeah, Mama Spice, in, in, in my eyes, you already won. Congratulations. You made it far as the Grammy. I mean, there's lots of artists, female artists before you that didn't even make it. They didn't even get nominated. They weren't even close to the front door and you got to the front door you got through the front door you got on the red carpet you got in the, the foyer like you did it you did it baby girl you did it so despite the fact that them teeth it from you you still win you still win soldier boy like so yeah tell me say no spice can just go do our next song and put two local Yankee words tonight and, and win win best R and B artist of the year. Me think so. Me think she fit with it. Yeah, me. Our Shensia. Shensia's music is more on the R and B side. A lot of her like her beats are more R and B to me. So you have to miss the next next Grammy. She can go and win best R and B new artist. Like, hey. I'm just asking. 
I'm, I'm just curious. But anyways, that's my take on it. I mean, maybe, just maybe, if a lot of the people didn't spend that amount of time that they did trying to tear her down, drag her name through the mud, if they had used that time and energy to go and purchase her album, she probably would have, she, not she probably, she would have sold more uh, more copies than this so-called reggae band, Soja. Like, I still can't believe it. Like, seriously, guys, is it just me? Did you guys go listen to this, the, their their album? I, mean, I, I had to because... I mean, I understand whole one, but, and I am not trying to be racist or anything. And I'm not saying that reggae only belongs to black people. I'm not saying that at all. But there's nothing reggae about for them, for them band. There's nothing that has to do with reggae. Why? Because them come up and say, yeah, man. Anybody can't say, yeah, man. Oh, you take a, a Caucasian person and throw them in Jamaica for the first time. That's the first. If they not come out of Jamaica with nothing, they might come out of Jamaica with two things. A sunburn and officer yeah, man. Talk truth. Not truth. Anyways, that's my little two saying. Let me know in the comment section what you think. I may say, oh, no, come for me, but me know it's because I know that it's here. Yeah? You know that it. It's just very clean. Peace out.